Well, it is an alert weather day here today because we have some messy weather moving in over the next several hours. Some heavy rain likely statewide. The potential there for several inches of rain that could lead to ponding on roads and certainly some areas of minor flooding. And up north, it will turn cold enough by tomorrow morning that the rain will switch over to some snow. That'll create some slippery travel conditions and result in a few inches of accumulation. There also is still the risk for some wind gusts over far southeastern parts of New Hampshire that could lead to some isolated power outages there overnight, but all of us will get into a gusty wind in time for tomorrow. Here's how this whole system breaks down hour by hour. Next few hours, showers start to roll in from west to east, and eventually a steadier rain gets going by this, this evening, say 6, 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Look at the wide range in temperatures across the state this evening, from 30s to near 40 degrees up north, where it really is a cold rain, to approaching the mid-50s in southern parts of New Hampshire. Wouldn't be surprised if a few towns got close to to 60 overnight, say like Portsmouth and Hampton, places right along the coastline. And overnight, this is when the worst of this storm moves through. Midnight to 5 a.m., we are looking at the potential for some really heavy rain, even a few rumbles of thunder. This is when travel is really going to be messy during the overnight hours. Some colder air working into far northern New Hampshire, changing the rain over to snow there. And then by tomorrow morning, while it's still pouring during the pre-dawn hours, the intensity of the rain starts to shut off in time for the morning commute. Still going going to be tough travel heading to work and school early tomorrow, but between 7 and 10 a.m. from west to east, a rapid clearing trend, though some light snow and snow showers continue in the upper valley, the White Mountains and the Great North Woods, even into tomorrow afternoon. A flood watch is in effect for all of central and southern New Hampshire, and this is why we are looking at a widespread one to three inches of rainfall. Looks like the heaviest axis of rain should shed, should set up somewhere from the Mount Washington Valley into the lakes region and down into the Monadnock region. That's where I think the best chance for getting close to three inches of rain will be out of the system. Not only is that going to cause problems on roads and for traveling through early tomorrow, but rivers and streams are really going to start to swell here by later Monday and into early Tuesday. This is the river height forecast for the Pemi River up in Woodstock approaching minor flood stage tomorrow afternoon. Thankfully, that does not mean that Route 175 there in Woodstock will flood, but some of the low lying areas surrounding the river could see some inundation tomorrow afternoon as the water levels quickly rise due to one, the heavy rainfall and also the melting snow. In fact, many other rivers, including the Piscataquag in Goffstown, the Warner River in Davisville, all approaching minor flood stage either tomorrow afternoon or at some point early Tuesday. Then along the coastline, we have a wind advisory out for Portsmouth down into Hampton, Rye and Seabrook through tomorrow as we're expecting a period of gusty winds to develop overnight. The winds are actually pretty light through today, but overnight for southern New Hampshire and along the coastline, we could see some gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. But I think now the strongest winds with this system actually come in tomorrow afternoon, right after the storm departs. It will turn very windy with some wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour in that time frame. A winter weather advisory in effect for northern parts of New Hampshire, including northern Grafton and southern Coas counties. That's these areas shaded in purple. To the north of there, up into, say, Colebrook, Pittsburgh, Dixville, Notch, this pink area in northern Coas County is a winter storm warning where there could be several inches of heavy, wet snow. This could also lead to some additional power outages very late tonight and really through most of Monday. Could even be a few inches, Lancaster, Whitefield, down into Lincoln and Bartlett, but it's a coating really once you get south of the higher summits of the White Mountains, not much of anything into Plymouth and Conway. Again, this system wrapping up quickly tomorrow morning. We'll be sure to bring you the latest updates right here on WMUR.com, our mobile app, and all of our social media platforms.